so I found myself thinking about um, news brand loyalty. I, I grew up in a time when you know people were extraordinarily loyal to news brands. Uh, you were either a CTV news watcher or a CBC news watcher. You either got the Globe or the Post. Um, and I think you know for people of my generation, that's still pretty much true. They don't they don't switch loyalties easily. Um, but I think the news consumption of you know people who are now under the age of 40, and increasingly people my, even my own age, um, is changing. They're, they're far less loyal. Um, they're far more adventurous and exploratory. And um, I think they, they see news as a commodity. And probably Google News has had a lot to do with making this happen, where you sort of pick and choose uh, what you're intrigued by and what you're interested by. There's a word for that. Um, it's called curation. It's probably a word that's being overused a little bit too much lately. Um, but what's interesting to me as we think about this show is we have to think carefully about the audience because the audience has two very different news consu consumption habits. Um, there's still the core that it is loyal to a certain brand, growing older, uh, and then the audience that we need to attract to television uh, has very different news consumption habits. So it's a, um, it's a puzzle, um, an interesting one too. Think about it. we're going to be doing a lot of that.